Hey everyone, it is Cam Cowboy here with a new video. We're going to be continuing off of last week's attacking strategies, and today we're going to be talking about basic defensive strategies. So, what this entails is just different strategies that one can utilize in order to maximize their effect on defense. So, to protect myself from attack, right now it is kill event. So, it's time to come out, it's time to, you know, have some fun, fight some people. Um,. But it's also important to realize that your account is an investment. It's an investment because you put a lot of time into it. You put a lot of money into it. Um, you need to be able to protect it in order to maximize what you get out of your account. So, obviously, you know, the easiest way to go ahead and defend yourself from any attack is to bubble. Now, it, that if that was it, you know, this video would be so easy I would be done right now just bubble but no because there are so many other ways to protect yourself other than just bubbling so I want to go ahead and you know share my knowledge and share everything that I've learned about this game um, up to this point um, to help all of you out in your own eyes so the first way that you know you can defend yourself is just obviously preparing your castle so it's about buffing up so you know going ahead put that anti-scout on so no one can get an idea of what's going on in your account um you can also utilize the vengeance alert but vengeance alert i would only utilize if you know a i'm going to play defense but b i'm also going to play offense when someone comes into my hive and they start picking fights i want to beat them up if you're going to be doing that you might want to utilize vengeance alert so you can hunt them down. If they have a wonder, it, this will be very easy because you can track them. Uh, if you are the king or you have the king on your side ready to go, Vengeance Alert is also util, um, usable for that. But if they can easily run and hide, might not be so much. Um, if you're going to be utilizing Vengeance Alert and you don't have the aforementioned abilities on your side, I would highly recommend that what you do is you are very quick just be very quick as soon as they attack you or as soon as you're ready to go and they attack you and they get that vengeance alert preventing them from bubbling you need to have that march on them and you also have to be able to defend yourself at the same time because if you utilize vengeance alert and someone is marching me like let's say this green march is coming at me and the troops are right here and I go okay it's time to go now and I send my march at him if he starts, he can go one of two ways. He can speed his march up and try to take advantage of having my main march out. Or he can recall trying to defend it. Um, if he was smart, he would have no troops at home. And he would speed that march up to take advantage of me while I had my main march out. That is why it's also very important to have, not that, um, the air cannon so that we can get the airship defensive abilities at home even when our airship is not at home now another thing that you can utilize is having the mercenary airship if you have the mercenary airship you can send out all of your marches if you have that few troops and you can get five main marches out on your opponent so that they're constantly under a heavy barrage and that's usually what it takes in order to zero someone that's what I did when it came with um, zeroing that C-30 in my uh, pretty popular video that I have up. Uh, his name was uh, Trouble Starter, if anyone remembers that. But, basically, besides that, it's just so, it's buffing up your castle, it's getting those attack boosts, it's getting the defensive boost. Um, and it's about being smart. You have time on your side, you have the ability to cloak yourself underneath everyone else in your account. Uh, your alliance so let's say someone's in my hive and they're attacking so let's say I'm shielded like a, let's say I am Darth Rage Darth Rage can go send all of his troops over to me now keep this in mind if Darth Rage is stronger than me he will increase my stats if Darth Rage is weaker than me let's say hey C-35 means that I'm stronger than the C-32 um, and he were to reinforce me, he would actually be lowering my stats and actually harming me and himself in the process. 
you always want to reinforce down, never reinforce up. When you reinforce up, you will lower the stats of the person you are reinforcing. Wait, let me think about that. So, if Darth, Darth Rage does not want to... I do not want, at, personally as a C-35, if Darth Rage was weaker than me, I would not want him to reinforce me. Since Darth Rage is stronger than me, I want him to reinforce me because he will be increasing my stats. It's a weird mechanic, but bear with me on this. Um, so just, you know, do not have anyone weaker than you reinforce you. Um, only be reinforced if you need the troops. If, it, you know, if that's the case, only get reinforced if you actually need the troops. If your troop count is high like mine, I would not want a weaker person to reinforce me. The only people I would want to reinforce me is like KVK Pyro and General. But since Darth Rage has strong stats, it's also a good option to have him reinforce me as well. But I would not want, say, Hailfar or Backhand J to reinforce me because that would actually lower my stats. Another thing to do is strategic planning of reinforcements. Now, if you want to team up and reinforce, let's say, Hailfar against an attack, I would not recommend that you're doing this with someone else. You cannot determine when their march is going to be sent, when their march will hit, because simply it's just not easy to trust someone like that. And if you don't feel like you can defend a march on your own, I would not risk your sending your troops uh, if you require to be sent with someone else. So, let me reiterate, do not team reinforce, only reinforce against a single march if you know you will win the march on your own. Do not think about how will Hailfar's troops, you know, react to this march, how will he be able to defend on his own, only worry about you 1v1 against the person marching it. So that's a couple different ways of, um, you know, just being able to defend. Now, another thing that I want to keep, I want you to be aware of, is the ability for you to send your troops out. So let's say um, you want to go ahead and protect your troops from attack. You don't care about your resources. Let's say you cleared your resources, but you want to keep your troops out and safe. What I would highly recommend is I would highly recommend you go on your map. Let's pick some random coordinates. I would find, you know, a couple different castles in the same area, and I would launch a war rally. They need to be in an alliance, I guess. That's weird. That's new. Alright, um, but launch a war rally against some opponents to be able to get your troops out of your castle. Now, that you would want to utilize one hour rallies and what this does is it allows you to get all of your troops out if you have so few troops that you know you you only have one march available just send all your troops out besides your main march that way all of your troops are easily manageable you can keep your troops at home you don't have to worry about you know you can keep your troops away they're safe you don't need to worry about getting them um killed in case you get marched on but in case you can't afford a you know if you can't afford gold for a shield and you're going to be online you can always war rally for one hour now we can also utilize this in attacking and i'll get more into that later on but for now you know this is just basic basic defense um i don't want to go ahead and get into too much more detail on any of this because this is mostly just basic uh, strategies. You know, it's reinforcing others, shielding, um, using, utilizing vengeance alert to trick people into attacking you and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, because I'm really bad at explaining things, I guess now, uh, just let me know. This is Cabin Cowboy.